I own a mixed animal practice in a micropolitan community in southeastern Nebraska. I first introduced the concept of cultural competence to my practice team through one-on-one -on -one conversations. We discussed how it pertained to our clinic and it gave me the opportunity to unearth their biases and concerns and cultivate their buy-in. Then I presented the module at a weekly clinic staff meeting. This facilitated discussion about our practice's clientele as well as how to provide veterinary services in an open, friendly, and meaningful way as part of great customer service. Our clinic theme for this, co for this concept is clients as unique as their pets. We're focusing on changes we can make in our practice with feedback from the entire team. Having a basic understanding of racial, ethnic, age, gender, and socioeconomic trends helps with the interactions I have every day with clients and coworkers. Cultural competency in practice isn't about a defined way to handle a situation. It's like when arriving at a final diagnosis with a patient. I don't just use the signalment to solve a case. But the patient signalment, history, and my physical exam findings all combine to give the complete clinical picture. Likewise, it takes more than the external demographic features and knowledge of cultural communication preferences. It comes down to my personal experience with that individual for me to better understand how to relate to them and engage with them in improved patient care, the big picture. Cultural competency makes my role as a veterinarian easier and more rewarding, and that's a panacea I'd prescribe any day.